gone. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. What am I doing? What have I done? So let's walk through and continue our quest line of Ezio Atatar. Hope I said that right. So yeah, Assassin's Creed 3, it's gonna still go by um like Desmond. Um I'm guessing the main character in AC three, um Connor Conway I think. He's um related to Desmond somehow. And he's gonna further crack the evidence onto how to save the world from the Templars. The Knights Templars. And, um, yeah, um, I really love these, this series. Um, I got into Ace, Assassin's Creed when Brother heard Brother. Cue the epic music!
Yeah, those guys, those guys are the the guys, the bad guys, the ones that attack Ezio. Those are Templars, and he's at um. Say I forgot. The Masyaf um castle, something like that. But that castle used to belong to the Assassin Brotherhood when Altair was around. But they just all uh, went away, and then, um, well, there's Altair, the ghost, but, um, and then the Templars took over. So, Ezio is coming back for some reason. He's going to find out later in, like, a little bit, so just, I'll just go right now. So, you, as, as you can see, Ezio, he's older than when he was in Brotherhood. Um, in Brotherhood, he was, like, in his 20s. In Revelations, he's in his 50s. He's rather old. But he's still badass, no doubt. You know? Yeah. And I hope Connor will be even more badass. Uh, why? So yeah, by the way, um, the music with the, when he was fighting all those people, it wasn't in the game. I just added that. I do not own the music, first of all. I just hope I don't get copyrighted, so I don't own the music. Um, so yeah, AC3, who is excited? Hold on. Let me see if they have subtitles. I want you guys to be able to read. Let's see. That's the map. Options. General. Brightness, blood, subtop. On. 3D strength. Ooh. I like a lot 3D. Okay, so subtitles are on now. So it'll be better for you guys, more convenient, hopefully. So let's go. Okay, I got my hidden blades on. About to own some Templars. Oh, let's go. Ouch. Ah, I'm so rusty. Jeez. If you guys, um, any of you guys who, who's never played the Assassin's Creed before, I really highly recommend it. It's um, it's one of those games where you get emotionally attached to the main character, like um, Ezio and Altair. Um, I literally wanted to cry when I watched Assassin's Creed Embers when Ezio was supposed to die, which he did. Um, he died of heart problems. He was he was old though, so it was okay. But I literally felt really depressed for like a day or two because he's one of those characters that you get emotionally attached to. And I love those games. Uh, makes you feel connected. So I hope Connor is the same way as Ezio. Um. So yeah, as I was saying before, I started to play Assassin's Creed on Brotherhood. Assassinate this guy. Bam! Yeah, so started play I started to play Assassin's Creed on Brotherhood. Um I enjoyed it really like a lot. But I recently learned that um Assassin's Creed Revelations came with Assassin's Creed 1, which I never played. I tried to play it. I just couldn't finish it for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it was boring for me or something, but I just couldn't finish it for some reason. I wanted to start Assassin's Creed 2, but I don't have the game. I don't have the money for it. But actually, I do, but I'm setting me up for more games. So, yeah. Push this stone bird off this, this height thing. That's called the leap of faith, by the way. When you 
jumps and lands in hay or water. So yeah. Should I get a sword? I did do a counter kill. What the frick, man? So yeah, if um, if you never had played Assassin's Creed and you want to get Assassin's Creed 3, I recommend at least starting at Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. More more better the first Assassin's Creed if you're able to finish it. Cause I, I was never able to finish it. You get a better understanding of everything and um, gets you emotionally attached to the character. If your personality is that way, of course, but it worked for me. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are key holes here. This temple is found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. So yeah, the, the whole main, th main mission of the uh, revelations is to get all the keys, the Masyaf keys, and get behind that door. Which is the um, the holy secret library that Altair hid away from everybody. So the assassins and the Templars are racing to open that door. Currently, the Templars have one key. The assassins have none. And um, Altair meant for the right person to get through that door, which is not the Templars, obviously. So, um, Ezio's whole quest for this thing this whole game is to get the keys um, along with falling in love with a girl with big breasts the redhead uh, that's kind of <laughs> yeah now that I think of it that's like in almost every Assassin's Creed game at least through Brotherhood I don't know oh, let's kill these bitches <laughs> You're not. Mm. You can loot people by holding zero or circle. I don't, I don't really want to loot them right now, though. Um, yeah, this might be a series because this is one of the few games that I actually enjoy making videos of. Oh, yeah, I actually um, have an update with my channel. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is ass. Okay, it sucks. That's why most of my f people on my friends list see me on Battlefield 3 all day and other games like Skyrim. But um, I'm thinking of finishing my dual touch, dual touch with my friend that I promised. Because I promised him I would finish it. After that, I will probably not be making any more. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 videos. I don't like the game, period. Um, jump forward and press square. Square. Okay. So, uh, I'm planning not to make any more MW3 videos after the montage, because MW3 fucking sucks. So much bullshit going on.